you are most welcome back and this is still the blog and as promised don't forget you can join us on twitter before i tell you i promise you can join us on twitter at wmax underscore the blog using the hashtag Love, love to blog. To We'd love for you to love. be a part of this conversation as we unveil our guest for this afternoon. She's the one and only poet, filmmaker, mm -hmm. entrepreneur, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, mother, mm -hmm. so many things mm -hmm. in there. Ladies and gentlemen, Ooh. boys and girls Ooh. on the island and the mainland, hey. they're very welcome. <laughs> Tony Payne. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. I have to put that in there. Nice. Hi, you. Tony. Great Hi. to have you on the show. Thank you. Good to be here. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Now, and I must say, I like your cap. Yes, ah. it has. Everyone, even no, no, Anthony, no, has something on. I was talking to so him. Young does not have leg. Leave it. Uh, uh, I tell you, you Don't know, worry, I can take Tony some and kind of stick it day. on me. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's just, just really nice. Just really nice. All right. Okay. Oh, I forgot that there's a French woman here. I cannot be blagging my friend, my way. Uh, oh, you wanted to lie? Yeah. No, feel free. <laughs> wash people like you wash us on TV. Yes, please. I'm here. Oh, yeah, feel I heard said terrible. I forgot. <laughs> but you said that right. Oh, thank God. Let's, okay. all let's, uh, let's talk to our guests. Don't be rude. Yay. I've been taking French lessons for a billion years. <laughs> oh, you have? How good are you? Not good. No. <laughs> well, I'm getting there. I mean, I, you, you know, I, I started, um, I took classes. Epic fail. Oh, then wow. I finally recently downloaded Duolingo. And Duolingo. Yeah. Wow. You can actually learn basic, not basic, basic mm. to complex languages mm -hmm. on that app, mm -hmm. and it's it's actually really cool. Wow. Mm. And it's still is... epic fail, but you know. Mm. But you, <laughs> you clearly you love to learn, you love to oh, yeah. study, you love definitely. to research, yeah, and hence definitely. your project, right? Yeah, yeah definitely. Tell us um, a bit more about that. Um. So right now, um, I just finished shooting a film called A Very Bad Good Day. It's mm -hmm. um, a short film, and I think the short film market, especially out here, has not really has not really been um, explored. Mm -hmm. You know, something sure. that just tells a story and um, straight to the point. You know, it doesn't have to be like an hour long to mm -hmm. make a lot of sense. And it's an interesting story um, about a girl that had a very bad good day. Wow. And it has a unique ending. <laughs> I don't oh. wanna, yeah, I don't want to give it away too much. But, all right, let's um, give a little snippet away to our viewers out there. After yay. all, that's why you watch the blog. <laughs> we have some a short clip from a very good bad day. A very bad good a day. A very <laughs> bad good bad. day. Yeah, yeah. A very wow. bad good day. Let's see a little bit of what to expect when the movie comes out finally. So what are you doing here? With Kate? My best friend? <laughs> really? I, I can explain. Oh, no, there's nothing to explain. Wait, where are you going? Away from you? No, 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 you're not. No. Come on, come on. No, no, no. Please, come on, come on, just get out of the car. No! I promise I can explain to you, please. No! no. You want me to press any of no, these good. things over here? But if you... Hey! Hey! Please come. Please come, I need help. Very bad good day. A very bad good day. Produced and directed, and directed. by Tony Payne. Hi. So, did you do you have any do you have any background in filmmaking? Did you go to school? I went. Yeah, that's actually what I studied in school. Um, a billion years ago, mm. um, I studied video digital art. Um, mm. That's what I got my degree in. And um, for whatever reason, I've done everything else except that. Mm. <laughs> you know. So I finally decided. You know what? This is what I like to do. Let me go back to my roots. And mm. um, yeah. Um, besides. You know, producing short films, um, we're going to, well, I always say we because I have a team. Um, we're going to be doing um, music videos and we're also going to be doing commercials. Oh, mm. great. And the commercial industry in Nigeria is one I, I really want to tap into because I see a lot of commercials and I'm like, <laughs> we see a lot of commercials. You would have done better, you know? I yeah. don't want to be like, you know, 
But I think so. <laughs> there's there's, one, there's, there's so one commercial that I actually really, really, that, you know, left an impression was the one with um, Gabriel Afalayo. I knew you were going to say. I think everyone, <laughs> yeah, for, it that's changed the game for yeah. commercials. That's Nigeria. probably you know the, the best commercial that I've seen out here, well, so far, <laughs> you know? And yeah. I think you, know, you, you have to be creative. You're trying to sell something, you want to leave an imprint in people's yeah. heads. I think that's you know, great. You don't want yeah. it to be forget. And we were saying about commercials, I love, <laughs> unfortunately, South African commercials. Yeah. Literally, they're the only ones, if, if, I'm, if my head is turned, and I'm looking at a commercial double take, it's not going to be a Nigerian one. Mm. Yeah. It usually ends up being a so South African yeah, production. I think so Nigeria, I think that's really good. We need good. to be a little bit more creative. I think we're yeah. used to the shaky, shaky daddy kind of um, commercial. Yeah. Yeah. Happy with and and the, the girls that smile. Hey. Yeah. I think, <laughs> and turn. <laughs> yeah. I think the thing is, yeah. in, in Nigeria, um, people, don't have, people don't spend their time ready to probably listen or yeah that too or you know watch for early. so we'll just rather give it to you as it is um it's a red shirt come and buy it mm. Twenty five thousand. Exactly. Hour. but then we're, we're not make it look we're, like we're quick to okay appreciate. you just see someone wearing the shirt and no one walk by I play with your mind play with your mm. mind we, yeah. we don't have we think we it's don't have good. that time i think that's you know, a our good attention industry. span is not that long i think i think we do because if we didn't have that time a lot of people wouldn't appreciate the air yeah. care. and it doesn't have to you could do so much in 10 seconds you know you can do so much in 30 seconds i've seen Instagram videos that are like 10 seconds long and you're yeah, like, ah, yeah, exactly. you know, yeah. so and they make they a lot, lot of sense. sense. So, yeah. uh, like. so now, from the short clip we saw from that video, it's yeah. your your movie is quite Western. Yeah, was there Was there is. a reason why? Because a lot of people in Nigeria, they're like, oh, we want to do the Nigerian thing. Let's have it very home-based. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yours has a very huge Western influence. Was there, was it deliberate or? Um, well, it's, I wouldn't say deliberate because I live in LA. <laughs> so, um, I think, you know, I have a market here and I have a potential market there as well. And um, if I live in L.A., I shoot in L.A. But I, I plan on shooting in Nigeria as well. I have some stories written mm. for the Nigerian market. I have some stories written to shoot out here. Mm. So definitely I'm going to be doing some things for the Nigerian market. In case you have a story well. that has to do with mainland streets, I'm, <laughs> I'm representing the mainland. I have, I, yeah, I have. Just I mean, you know, you guys yeah. were talking about um, domestic violence not yeah, too long ago. Yeah. I, have a, and I should have a story that I, you know, wrote. Um, about domestic violence oh, and, you know, nice. in the whole... Would you be getting Tonto DK perhaps to star? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why are you, know. you laughing, Ayo? Why were you laughing when you were asking that question yourself? I wasn't I'm, laughing. I'm, I'm, she's an actress use... and she's a, a, a speaker for such things. You have a script, you're a director, Yeah, I'd producer. probably use neutral... Um, new people, right? Yeah, new people. I think it yeah. would distract from the movie. I think so, too, yeah, yeah, you know, because... So someone just... like me, maybe. <laughs> maybe no, there are a lot of you'd play, already. You could play Solange, you know, because she's in the movie, too, for beating up Jay-Z and all that. Yeah! <laughs> I just got a job. Oh, now, nice. let's move away from filmmaking and look at another side of you, which okay. is poetry. Oh, yeah. Now, I used to read your blog. I don't know if you still have your blog. I still do. Oh, wonderful. I, many years ago, and I, I think you write really well. Thank you. But do you Very. think we have a market in Nigeria for poetry? Because oh, you have yeah. an album, and then you have the book as well. Yeah, um, I have the poetry book. Um, it's called The Stroll at Midnight. Mm. And I have a poetry album. It's called I Am Osha. And um, Nigeria, yes. I think there is a market for it. If, you know, people, um, poetry words, you know, words can touch people in different ways. I think there's definitely a market for it. And, you know, you have, a, I'll say, events. Mm -hmm. As long as I've been here, I've seen events coming up, you know, on the mm -hmm. radio, or oh, poetry this, poetry yeah. that. So, yeah, of course, if, it, you know, if there was no market for it, they wouldn't bother doing it. I think it's just a new or a growing market. And I think it's going to get there, you know. And... You know, with poetry, I always say, um, if you listen to music, you're listening to poetry. Mm, yeah. You know, I yeah. always say people like Tupac, they were, you know, oh, they're poets. Poets. Big, yeah. yeah, they're poets, you know. So it goes hand in hand. If I take one of my poems now, all I need to do is add a beat and you have a rap and song, melody, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. Just like that. You know, like, <laughs> hey. Do you perform your, po poem, your poems live? I do. Yeah, oh. I do. Um... I perform and I, you know, obviously record as well, um, do spoken words and, you know, sometimes with music, <laughs> sometimes <laughs> with, um, without, um, I'm working on a collaboration with um, a young lady, beautiful voice, her name is Kaifi, wow. and um, she sings, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to kind of try to, you know, fuse our two talents together and see mm -hmm. what comes, you know, out of it. But it's, it's a beautiful thing. It's, you know, the ability to 
write and people can relate and um, read and feel what you're writing. And, you know, I get a lot of mails like, oh, my God, this really touched me. This changed Brilliant. my life. You know, mm. so it's, it's a beautiful thing. No, it's, it's actually a good thing that you were quick to recognize that, okay, she sings. I don't. Unlike yeah. from some of our Nigerian <laughs> artists that someone like 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 they do now. He can spend money, he cannot sing. No, he can't sing. Is it because Biscuit said he should go out and drink more water? <laughs> yeah, Biscuit said he should drink he should more drink water. water. These two people should calm no, down. No, I think now. somebody that should definitely think about probably asking someone to sing for him yeah. is um Casey in Popom. No, no, okay, he had someone who used to write for him. Yeah, maybe they should. If someone writes for him, then who now sing? Then what responsibility do you leave for him? Lip sync. Can't there's a competition called lip sync? You know what I think? I think. I think. Please please tell us what you think. I personally, I think. I mean, I could be wrong. I personally think Wizkid and Davido get together. You know, have drinks and like, what are we gonna do this time? Let's have people talking. I don't. I don't. I don't buy their beef. I. Oh no, it's beef. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it's more chicken. But do you, you know? have you heard about, <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, have you heard nice. about the KC Harry song one though? Um no. Oh, oh. they're beefing? No, they oh, had they Do you had know who KC is? I know KC, yeah. Okay, I just No, do you know who Harry Song is? I do. Oh, okay. There's a song he had a few years back that I really like. Oh, what's um, the song? I forgot this song. Something You're I love you. Something it's, it was like a love song. It was really popular like a few years ago. Yeah, back. I think he had one hit song at that time. Yeah. But anyway, it's time we're talking about love because we're looking at what the real definition of love is. You know, mm. when oh, someone yeah, says he yeah, loves you to death. in the house. <laughs> yes, exactly. Can I just so, read this tweet Okay, about? please okay, go real ahead. Quick. This is from uh, Mr. Underscore Babs. He says, Tony Payne, Babs loves you. So oh. Babs over there, nice one. And this is from Ode underscore Uche. He says, Tony Payne, welcome on board. You look colorful. LOL. Hey. <laughs> All right then. Good. Nice Keep one. Keep Wonderful. it coming. Wonderful. All right, we have this story. We'd love for you to obviously give your opinion on this. Okay. And like Destiny said, it's even more important because you're a poet yourself. So yeah. you, you know, the poets are very deep. That's, I'm a poet too. No, no, you're not. <coughs> I mm. aspire to be. Okay. Uh, you're not At least you are being honest. I aspire to. Well, I was really excited that. when you came, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> I saw Martin Kendu Isaacs, the ex-husband and manager of singer Mary J. Blythe, says he wants them to talk. Mary J. Blythe filed for divorce from her husband of 12 years, Martin Isaacs, in 2016. Okay. He'd originally asked for $130,000 as spousal support, but the 46-year-old multiple award-winning singer fought against this, and the court ordered her to pay $30,000 to him monthly. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so that one thirty thousand was monthly? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. that's what it's supposed to be. Yes. yes. 130. All right, so the court had admitted Martin was entitled to some money to accommodate the standard of living he was used to while married to her. And when asked recently about the divorce, she said she's moving on, but it seems Martin has found it hard to move on from the 12-year-old marriage, especially the $100,000 that wasn't given to him. <laughs> so he posted a message on his Instagram to his ex-wife saying, I love you to death, Mary J. Blige. Mm. I can't even begin to understand why you're going on about this the way you have been. I never wanted to discuss our life airing the laundry. You know me better than that. You and I really need to talk and stop all these negative nonsense, a.k.a. family drama. I love you, and I will always, regardless of your actions. Is this guy for real? Mm-hmm. 130,000 real. <laughs> Trust me. Oh, he had an alawi for his parents on there. <laughs> you look at that. Yes, That's allowance for his parents, his parents' house, um, game Xbox games, and basically the 12 years that they spent together as she made him comfortable, it's by law, like she has to be able to keep, yeah, up, keep up that certain level of comfort for him to continue. I can't believe this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now this question, you know, big question, and I think we see this a lot, not just amongst celebrities, but even amongst no, no normal folk, but regular you know, people. Mm -hmm. Can you truly claim to love someone and yet exploit the person? Because there's no other word to describe what he's trying to do in terms of exploitation, he asked for $130,000 But would you call that month. exploitation if that's how they were living before? 
Are you joking? He cheated mm, on her. No. You, I hope you know she, that. that. That's what she ranted on um, yeah. a few days ago. She's like, how you going to get cheated on? He still got to pay him <laughs> <laughs> monthly okay. for cheating on me. So Mary J is Blige's pain is deep. deep. But <laughs> what, what I'm trying to say is that we are saying it's exploit, mm. but they, they were living a certain type of life. No, let's, even out, even talk, let's even leave them alone. Mm. Just generally, because we see that. Some people, I mean, we, we hear of relationships where the guy or the girl Sign is clearly... Prenup. You that is against prenup. No, I'm, ag I'm totally against I prenup. Know. You're against prenup? Oh, yes, yes I she am. is. Well, you be, yeah. I wouldn't <laughs> say that. She, she does yeah. not believe. I, 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 I'm 50%. You know, mm. unless I'm the one with the money. <laughs> well, you, you <laughs> the he's the one changes. with the money. I'm not signing up. You know? <laughs> but you know, like you know, I don't think anybody, um, especially with them when they started out. You know, their relationship was pretty good. Mm. Yeah. I don't think anybody. Um, I guess well, most people don't go into no marriage for it to um, break up. Well. And I think, personally, um, I haven't really followed their story per se, but. From the little that I've seen, I think what's going on with him is he's, you know, either a, not a little, a lot better, and he's taking advice from people. You know, they're probably in his ear telling him, oh, she has money, you have to get her, mm. you know, and he might not even want to do it, you know, mm -hmm. but just because, you know, maybe his lawyer saying, oh, you'd be a fool not to do it, mm -hmm. da, 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 she's going to leave you anyways. I think he you know, wants to do it. This is a perfect, for me, it's a perfect example of when... You marry a waste man. Yeah. You know your place. As a waste man, you know your place. Well, wasn't place. he instrumental to her comeback? Yes. He was there. Yeah, she, a waste man. You know, she gave him all the credit for her comeback. She was. She said she was she down was and in out. Love. Oh, you still. I mean, even if you're in love, you don't give credit. You know. No, you know you're you in that. You you love, especially well, for a yeah, woman. But if the person actually a woman is always something. expected to make to big up, especially when the woman is more successful, yeah. to yes. rob the man's ego by attributing all her success to him. Did he we not see the it, same thing with? Did he Siwa produce Savage? anything? Yes, exactly. Or direct anything? No one, no one would <laughs> have known <laughs> that there were issues in their marriage. Until you that to came keep out because rubbing you're, you're rubbing ego. your man's ego. You know, oh, thank okay. you. You know, honey just bought me this or just yes. gave me this and that and that. So when I say waste man, I don't mean mm. a waste man in terms of how he's living. It's just where you know your place, where you know that you're not earning as much as the female yeah. mm. and yeah. maybe your intentions are not as genuine as you would hope for them Hopefully, to be. Yeah. But you've just seen an opportunity right now, an opportunity to take yourself to a higher place, your family to a higher place, have everything that you want and all you got to do really is support this person that's emotionally needy. Mm. And yeah. go. So I don't think personally he was there 100%. That, well, we're that's me. We weren't in their marriage, but of course you can't. I'm not yeah. there. I'm just, just saying my own person. Say that. Those no, we're not there. Just from yeah, the outside. Those kind of yes. things are hard to judge because no, you, they are. unless you're, you know, that person, unless you're there, they there's no, you, you just No, 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 know. just from the outside. Yeah, you My just, own perspective yeah. of things. Is, so I tried to say that it's not possible to love someone and still do bad to them. So like what he's doing. How it's would not you love someone? Well, we see people, if you love someone, how would you love. cheat on the person? It's and we see love, people who actually. love people who actually cheat. So you cheat on you someone, see, you the hurt problem the person. Is, the problem is we're using the word love, love loosely. It's, it's the definition it's not love. of the yeah, word let's go in deep. to individual. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's go in deep. The definition of love. It's a, defini it's Let a different our, definition. Let our poet that is, that is not practicing tell us. <laughs> then the practicing poet to tell us. Aspiring. Yeah. No, but I think it's it's left in self-interpretation. Yeah. Definition and interpretation of how you show love is different mm. to how Edewa does. Yeah, it's yeah. different yeah. to how Tony, it's different to how So what's I your do. understanding of love? Um, love is you can't give what you don't have, realistically. And I think true love is self-discovery, true love is God, and true love is the ability to want to be better every day, like Beyonce and Jay Z. Oh my God! The will to change. How did that happen? Excuse me. How did you even happen? use that example? Beyonce and Jay Z. Because results. no, no, that's my own interpretation. Oh, that's my oh, interpretation. Wow. The will to change and the will to endure. Look at where they are today, almost yeah. 17 years later. So it's left for different. But do you know something? And I'm not trying to curse them or trying to say anything bad. It don't bad. matter what you do. You ain't strong enough. <laughs> it's, a, it's a really good business relationship. Yes, I was well. going to say They're better off together than It's people apart. like yeah. this. Yes. Yeah. It's people so, like this who, and I'm not trying to, but I love the institution of marriage. They more money together. Who, and you see 25 years down the line, you hear that Beyonce is divorcing Jay-Z. And you're like, ah, if she stayed for 30 years. Yeah. Why but is she Because now? it's a yeah. good business. You know, we were talking yeah. about this before, about how when you're not, was it, was it okay, wasn't you guys are talking to you? When you're not successful, it's easier mm. for a woman to stay or both 
But the moment she gains her independence financially or can stand yeah. alone, then she says, I'm not taking this nonsense anymore. Yeah. And then you're like, ah, well, you've been taking it for 30 years. Yes. But, but, but the it. difference is that, and why their dynamics intrigues me, is that she has her own money. Yeah. Or they're better together. together no, definitely. whether, whether, did you know the kind of money they have individually? Yes, but it's going to affect her beehive no. if she, because there's, no, there's, they, no, they, they form this, they form this illusion of everybody wants to be, they call them, um, what's they, that, what's they something, didn't something form and hide. Uh, Bonnie, Bonnie and Clyde. Bonnie, Bonnie and Clyde, thank they you. They didn't so form it. So it would affect her. It. These people have fears like We're that, not that she might not. It's not going to affect them. Of course, J and B together is a bigger collab. They're not dumb to that. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm saying what I find intriguing. But you know what? If she leaves him, she has, I don't think she has anything to lose because it's, you know, people, you know, he cheated. They would expect her to. But I personally think they she They love each him. other. Yeah. yeah that's I what I'm think, saying. I to think see that a woman... they really love each other because, I mean, yes. couples go through things, you know. You, and you don't have to put up with it. Yeah, you especially don't. Especially when you she have really her bank doesn't. account. You know, especially she cheating. Cheating is like, cheating is not, um... It's you know, old. something yeah. easy to deal with. It's mm. like emotional, you know, it's like, oh my goodness, you're sleepless nights, and oh my God, I'm Beyonce, and I'm being cheated on. Yeah. No! So why did she think about Becky with the good hair if she was not feeling it? Why is she oh, it was she, good she, business. Yeah, it's good, good business. business. You know? And also That's the because business she side loves of it, him. And what if you notice, they don't put their personal stuff out there. Like that. Except through music. Yes. And they're making money off of it. So you, you, I don't even buy half the stuff they're singing anyways. They just, yeah, they're just selling, so. yeah. they're selling us a dream. They're selling us, um, they're storytellers. Do you know, you know? the funny thing is that I... I buy it, but I buy the uh, fact. Of, I, I no, surprised. hold on. I buy. <laughs> look at all these haters. I, I buy the fact that it's so real Why would that you they're buy going to make you feel you, like you it's, buy not it and it's not real. real. Do you understand? You like, like, like it's it. so like ha ha ha. It's so real. Oh, but they're gonna do it. And then we, we actually left the definition of love to Beyonce and Jay Z. Because and that's exact that love. Look at you. That's not love. Beyonce, Beyonce and Jay Z. Okay, so this is from. Um, at Victor underscore Akin Loye. He says, you can't love someone genuinely and still feel comfortable to exploit the same person. Mm -hmm. That's it. And there's another one. This is from at Katizu. He says, um, hi there, well, I your Destiny and uh, Tony. Will not, I will not exploit the person I love, no matter what, because it's hurtful. So Aww. you can't tell me you love someone. Well, all these men on our social media. They all say that until they do it. Until they see the opportunity. No, but I believe in our men. Yes, uh -huh. we, are, we, are, we are all right. We are trying to do it. Go. It's been great me? having you, Tony. Thank you but so much. But when should we expect your film out? Um, it should be out, this is what, August? By August. Oh, this is July. July, August. August. Yes. Yeah, August. Then where can people get your poetry book, um, um, album? You can get my poetry book and my album on um, Amazon, um, iTunes. Just, you know, you can go on my website, TonyPainOnline.com. I have links up on there, but I'm on iTunes for sure, and I'm oh. also on Amazon, um, Barnes and Noble, <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> so when, I'm, when are yeah. we going to come for the audition for the other movie? It's very, so today, I'll today, today. today. We're auditioning to. now. Uh, to enjoy more of this our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.